What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's the 17th of May. We're taking a look here this morning at Bank B O N K. This will be the Bank slash the United States dollar pair. This will be price data from Coinbase, guys. And we'll be looking at a daily chart. I do not think we'll get into a smaller time frame. Guys, welcome to the channel. Appreciate all the support. Welcome all of the new hundreds and hundreds of new subscribers. Welcome, guys. Let's take a look at Bonk here. Got some um, video ideas from some viewers. Um, we did do a Bonk video a couple, it was probably a couple weeks back, maybe a little less, but I wrote on the community post recently that I think Bonk is ready for a very large move to the upside, or I should say a move to the upside. We don't know quite how large it will be. We have some ideas. Um, if it takes place. But anyways, we're going to cover Bonk this morning. So this is from Coinbase. This can be purchased on Uphold. Uh, I will leave a link down below if you do want to use that. I appreciate it. It does help support the channel, guys. It's an affiliate link for Bonk. But of course, not financial advice. I'm not telling you to go out and buy this. I think it's going to make a run, though. That's what I think. So let's dive into this a little bit deeper here and let me explain myself and why I think this thing is ready to run higher in price here. One, because it hasn't and a lot of the other markets have already. So there's there's one reason there. So for Bonk, we are in this little bit of a pennant pattern. Let me draw this on the chart. Let's see if we can find the correct tool here. Let's see here. So we have a little bit of a pennant pattern forming. I don't put too much weight on stuff like this when it comes to charting. I use a lot of price data, but you know, if you want to mark up the charts, I totally understand. You know, there's there's some validity to it. Anyways, here we are. Bonk is in a pennant pattern here. You could actually probably drag this out to connect these lows and connect the highs over here. But we are in a pennant pattern. We're close to the apex. You know, question is, does it break higher? Does it break lower? So Bonk right now is creating basically lower highs and higher lows, and the energy is building up here. So after this, um, we've got a very bearish break here, which put in a higher low on the uh, 19th of April, rallied up to, uh, let's call it an equal high, higher low, let's call it an equal high, higher low, lower high. So there's some energy building up here within this consolidation. So Bonk has my level is 307. I think it's actually slightly lower for the resistance. It's pretty much in this area, maybe even a little bit lower than that. But it's right around like the 307 down to 2839. Not too much of a big price difference there. Basically within this zone right here is a very large resistance area. Why is that important? If Bank starts to move higher and break out past that area, we could see a very large move to the upside. This is also a, from a quick glance here, and I didn't put too much thought into the, you know, drawing all of these patterns on the chart. Kind of an inverse head and shoulders here, which could lead to a very large move to the upside. I know a lot of people... Um, you know, swear by different chart patterns and stuff like that. And they, like I said, they, they are important. It's just not the way I really look at charts, but I see them. I just don't, you know, spend all day um, looking at them. But a takeaway here is the 307, 30, uh, 3038 level is a target I have to the upside for Bonk. So that's my two targets for an upside break for Bonk are 307, 3007, excuse me, and 3038. 
That's just for starters from where we're currently trading. So from where we're currently trading, which is like 2457, the target number one would put you up about 22%. Target number two is just above that, about 23 or so percent. So for starters, we're looking for a 20% move to the upside. Now, could there be some resistance there? There could be short term, but I think if we get up to there, it's not going to be long when it comes to acting as resistance because, like I said, I think the price is actually going to break out past that. And if it starts to, it could be a very large move to the upside for, uh, you know, for this crypto, for Bank. We do have a couple more targets above this chart here, above the current price. Those will be 33.52. That's here in green, 33.52, and then 34.32. Again, just slightly above that first one there at 33.52. That takes you to... 36% move as well as a 39% move. So pretty much what I'm looking for is a 22 to a, you know, 38 or so percent move. It's going to get me to my first level of potential resistance for bank. You know, if the price can start to move up here, it looks like it wants to, and it could happen pretty quick. Now, are these targets low? One could argue that they're not very high. They're very realistic, and I don't think that the price is going to be held back for very long at especially these lower ones at the 307, 338, because once it gets up to that area, I mean, that's essentially a very strong breakout zone. So if the price starts to get up here and move, maybe we see a couple hours on the day where it pauses. But I think ultimately that is a uh, big breakout zone. But those are my targets right now above the market. Um, those are 3007, 3038, 3352, 3432. Two up here, two down here. What I have circled here is once again basically that area of that. It's that, it's that breakout zone. You're looking, you want to see the price get above that and hold above that. So it's interesting. Um, we're going to keep an eye on this. I do think it's ready to make a pop to the upside. So, of course, not financial advice, guys. This can be purchased on Coinbase. This can be purchased on Uphold. There will be a link down below. Please make your own financial decisions. So you might be thinking, and, you know, I hope you're right, that I think Bonk is going way higher than what this micro futures trader guys talks about at 34, 32 for my upside. This is all short term, guys. Well, we do have some higher price targets, some much higher price targets for Bonk. For starters, we're going to take take you above the close to the all time high here. So for starters, the 5093 level right here would be a target to keep an eye on, 5093. That will take you not above the all-time highs. It will take you above the highs of the 4th of March, 5093. Above that, guys, 5884. Now that takes you above the all-time highs from, what's our date here, the 14th of December. 5884. What else do we have on this chart? We have a 6657 as well as a 7858. 7858, 6557. Now, those are going to be some pretty serious percentage returns. Uh, 108, 108, 142, 167 as well as 220% moves higher. It can happen quick. You know, that's why I said these are probably very, very low, but I think they will have a, a push on price once they get up there and, you know, potentially acting as some resistance for a short period of time, especially seeing this inverse head and shoulders here. We got resistance, um, 
Yes, but that's just, you know, hey, that's what the market says, so that's why they're on the chart. To the downside, if they decide to crush the markets for whatever reason, even though Bitcoin is starting its breakout higher, as long as it can hold, we do have some areas of potential support below the market for this bonk chart. Those will be 2101 for starters, 1976, 1885, that's all within here uh, we have one below that at 1592 that would be quite the sell-off let's look at the percentage on those so we have a 12 17 20 and a 33 percent move to the downside so let me know do you think bonk is ready to make a very large move to the upside keeping in mind very important area right here, right around the 307, so even slightly below it. Or is Bonk getting ready to get crushed again? A big shakeout to the downside, taking out some of these most recent lows. I think it's getting ready to do a move like this. I'll be watching my price levels. If that takes place, time will tell. Guys, over to Bitcoin real quick before we wrap this video up. If you're still hanging around. Thanks for watching. Here is Bitcoin, guys. We have a, uh, let's see here, little inverse head and shoulders drawing on the chart. Neckline, big breakout that took place here on the 15th. Um, let's see if we need to make a new high for the day here. We are above support at 64,375. Next target above the market for Bitcoin is 68,748. Um, hopefully that takes Bonk up higher if that starts to play out here let's see what that looks like for a bitcoin return about a 3.8 percent return higher before my next level of resistance on my charts thanks for watching guys if you are not yet subscribed go ahead and join us here all links down below let me know what you think on bank and where it's going you guys take care